Hello everyone, I'm Daniel from Sirocco. The topic of this video is operators in a nutshell. I'm going to introduce you to operators in the programming language Haskell. In Haskell, the user can introduce their own operators quite simply. And all those operators uh, make codes more intuitively clear and readable. So in this video, we have a look at some quite basic examples of operators in ASCII. The first example is related to our OpenSync operators. In, in this language, ASCII, our favorite language, our OpenSync operators are, are overloaded in the following sense. All those operators and operations are defined for every numeric data type. So here is the general definition, the type class called num, well, that's numbers the type class of numbers. We define this class by enumerating its methods such as plus, minus, multiplication, negate, signum from integer, and etc. And uh, the instances of uh, the num type class are standard. I mean int, integer, word, double, and so on and one may associate with, with every type class the collection of types that satisfy uh, this type class in some sense. But uh, I would like to drop the, int uh, the implementation of all those instances because you may have a look at them in the standard library called base. As in the lambda calculus, well, the second example is related to function application because function application is an operator itself in some sense. Okay, but let us discuss function application quite briefly. Function application is left associative by default, as in the lambda calculus. For example, we have the function called foo. This is a three argument function the arguments are x, y, z, and uh, foo is defined with another function called f, where f is, is some function. And we have f, x, y, z with no brackets, but with brackets, that's the same as application of uh, f to x. After that, we apply the results of the application to y, and finally, we apply fxy to z. And clearly, uh, function application is not associative because fxyz is not the same as fx applied to yz. We have to take care about associativity in brackets. But uh, functions written you know, honestly, with brackets, you know, their bodies sometimes look a bit cumbersome because uh, we might have too many brackets occasionally. And in order to overuse, in order to avoid brackets overusing, we use the dollar infix operator. And here's an example. The functions function and function one are equivalent to each other. The first version uh, is written honestly using brackets. We have x applied to y, and we apply x, y to z, and we apply this term x, y applied to z to f. But we can drop all those brackets at all and, and replace them with dollars. And this looks a little bit more you know, user-friendly, because if we use all those uh, brackets when uh, they are required, then Haskell would become Lisp. But we don't want to make Haskell Lisp, so we use dollars because of that. The second example is related to operator sections. Sometimes one needs to fix the arguments of an operator and uh, leave uh, the second argument an, ab uh, an arbitrary one. In Haskell, we do that using operator sections. Here's an example. These functions are equivalent to each other, plus 5, 
and plus five prime. Let's have a look at plus five prime first. This function takes int, an int, and returns another int. We'll take x of int and returns x plus five. But alternatively, we can implement this function, in fact, the same function, using operator sections in the following way. The equation is uh, a little bit more simple because here we just tell the compiler that uh, plus five is uh, the same as the function that adds five uh, without any arguments. Okay. The next example is related to uh, composition. Here we have the dot operator, and this operator allows uh, the user to write sequential application of functions using this quite convenient notation, which is close uh, to mathematics, where we have composition of, of uh, set theoretic functions, or composition uh, of morphisms in uh, category theory or something like that. And this dot operator plays the same role as uh, the circle from from mathematics and category theory, okay? And uh, this type, very roughly, is a kind of transitivity because if we have a function from A to B and a function from B to C and some elements from A, then we can obtain some elements of C by applying all those functions sequentially, something like that. Here's an example. Again, we have two functions, and those functions are equivalent to each other. Here we take uh, some list of elements uh, of int and return some int. Here we have two equivalent versions. The first is written with dollars, and the second written with dots. To me, the second example is a little bit more essential because uh, this function is actually a composition of uh, all those functions such as map div7, filter even, map div2, filter odd and length. Alternatively, of course, one may replace uh, dots with dollars but here we use the argument explicitly, but in the second version we implement the function as a composition of other functions, and we, we don't need an argument here. But, to be honest, I don't know which version is really better. It's up to you and your preference. And of course, moreover, every operator a function is prefix and infix in the following sense. The first example, we apply this function lambda x, uh, x multiplication pi mul multiplication uh, 100 to the list 1, 2, 3. And we apply a function to the list using the function called map. But uh, this function is also an operator because we can use this function in the infix fashion using those quotes. And finally, uh, one can declare an operator by defining its priority and associativity explicitly. For example, let's have a look at uh, the plus function, standard arithmetic addition. And here we're Declare, uh, declare its associativity and priority. This function has uh, the sixth priority and it's left associative. That is x plus y plus z is the same as x plus y in brackets plus z. And uh, the associativity declaration also allows one to avoid brackets overusing. And this is it. A couple of quite basic examples, such as uh, functional application written with uh, dollar 
composition, arithmetic operators and operations, and uh, prefix and, if, and uh, infix notation for an arbitrary function. If you like this video and this kind of stuff generally, then you may subscribe the channel and uh, click the, the bell button in order to have more updates from our YouTube channel. So many thanks indeed for your kind attention. Cheers. Bye.